Hello everyone, I hope that you are having a great time. In this video I am going to show you how you can make a web page desktop shortcut and open it with a specific browser in Windows 10. Making a shortcut of a website to desktop is easy, but to open it with a specific browser you need to do it as it is explained on this video. So let me explain first how you can create a shortcut to a website using Firefox. So, for example, here I have opened Microsoft.com and I have to minimize a little bit this tab. So I make it something like this and I come next to this sign here, this key sign, and I drag it and drop it here on the desktop. So normally, now that I have, I will double click on this shortcut on the desktop, it should open Microsoft website by using Firefox. But look what happens. When I double click on it to open it, it will use Internet Explorer. Why does this happen is that for every shortcut that to a website that you will create on your desktop, it will be used your default browser. But one of the ways how you can fix this is to make your default browser, let's say Google Chrome or Firefox, if you want every shortcut to a website to be open from Google Chrome or Firefox. But in this video, I'm going to show you how you can open a specific shortcut on your desktop using a browser that you want. So let's start first with Google Chrome. So we come here at start and we go at all apps. And then we will search Google Chrome from the list of the application. So it's this one here. Don't search it here at the search button, but you have to do it like I'm doing on this video. And we click with the right of the mouse at the name of the browser, in this case, Google Chrome. And we go at more, open file location. And then this shortcut that is here on this folder we click with the right of the mouse again and then we go at send to and we choose desktop create shortcut. So now it have created a desktop shortcut of Google Chrome. So it's this one here. So what we will do is that we'll click with the right of the mouse on this desktop shortcut and we'll go at properties and we need to change the target. So we'll keep like it is the first part of this target. At the end of the target, I need to, to paste the website link that I want to open in the moment that I will click this shortcut using Google Chrome. I will open Firefox just to copy the link that I want to use. Let's say that I want to open Wikipedia in the moment that I will click on this uh, shortcut. So I'll just copy the link and I'll paste it here at the end of the target. Control V and then I'll press apply and then OK. Uh, but I can also change the name of this shortcut. So let's open properties again. And by going at general, I can change the name of this shortcut. Let's say Wikipedia. Oh, let's and I have to press OK. And so the name of this shortcut is change. And if I want to change also the icon of this shortcut, I have to do the same thing. Let's say we go to properties and then we go to this option here, change icon. And I can browse here and choose any kind of icon that I want. For example, I go to desktop and I choose from the pictures what kind of icon I need. I want to put for this shortcut. I'll leave it for now this one because I don't have a good icon but you can choose which one you want. Okay so after I choose the icon I'm going to choose this one for now and then I press OK, apply and then OK. So this is the shortcut that I have created on desktop and I want this shortcut to be open with Google Chrome. So I'll just double click on this 
and we see that Wikipedia is open now using Google Chrome. So now if I want to create a desktop shortcut, but I want to open this using Firefox browser, I will copy the link of the website. So let's say I want to have Microsoft as a desktop shortcut. I'll copy the link and then I'll go at start and go to all apps and search for Firefox. It's here. And then we click with the right of the mouse. We go at more open file location. And at the shortcut here, we click with the right of the mouse, which will send to desktop create shortcut. All right. So it came here. So then I'll go at the shortcut. We click with the right of the mouse. We go at properties and we add the link of the website that I want to open at the end of this target. So I'll just control V and then I will press apply. But in case that I want to change the name of this desktop shortcut, I go to general and I write, let's say in this case, it was Microsoft. And if I want to change the icon, I go again at shortcut, change icon, and I put an icon that I want by pressing in browse and you go and find your icon that you want. In this case, I'll just put this icon here, press OK, and then I'll press OK again. So you see, this is the sh desktop shortcut. And if I will click on this one, now it will open this website by using Firefox. So let's try. We we'll just double click on it. And we see that now it's open by using Firefox. We showed until now two methods how we can do this by using Google Chrome and Firefox. I'll show you guys also how we can do this by using Internet Explorer. Let's say that I'll do for the same website. So we go at start, we go at all apps and I search for Internet Explorer. It should be under Windows Accessories and it's here. We click with the right of the mouse, we go at more, open file location and we click with the right of the mouse at the shortcut, send to desktop, create shortcut. So let's minimize this. It's here. Okay. So we click with the right of the mouse again at the shortcut, which is in the desktop. We go at properties and at the end of the target here, we add the link of the website that I want to open by using Internet Explorer browser. Control V. In this case, it's again Microsoft. Let's press apply on this one. We'll change the name by writing, let's say, Microsoft. All right, then we press OK. And this is the shortcut of the website. So we double click on it to test it. And we see that this desktop website is open by using Internet Explorer. So hopefully you guys, you like this video. That's all that I wanted to show to you. So in this video, you can create desktop shortcuts and specify the browser with which you want to open these desktop shortcuts of the websites. Thank you very much for watching and please subscribe to my channel. Wish to you guys all the best. Thank you.